Hi guys, it's Gamer Dad back here with another EAFC video and this is the Luton Town career mode and as you can see we are into January transfer window here now so I want to go ahead and um, try and get a player in we do have a little bit of money to work with 37 million might have a few people go out but I do think in the squad looking at it the most obvious place we need to replace is probably at centre back Tom Lockyer 75 30 years old he'll know he's a captain playing well but need to get someone in for him so we do have a few people here on the shortlist that we have um gone ahead and got there which people wanted me to get in so let's go ahead and show you so center back on probably ain't going to do it jordan Bayer, 24 german decent but not much more high rated joe gomez probably that's probably as good as he's going to get too low rated Bella Kocak was a decent one but not sure about him van der Heck, I would love to get him uh, Paul van der Heck because he looks like a brilliant player in game face so it's a possibility Justin uh, Durian Timber here I would love to get him in as well um, not really playing for us I've been injured so I'd like to see what his uh, value is going into that um, uh, 30 million probably around 40 odd million for him so he's a possibility LaCroix at Everton, again another player we could go ahead and try and get in, decent player, very quick, so we're going to check him out, um, Kosanu here, another one at Wolves, so I know he's a decent player, could be one, Konza, more of an older player, not sure, having a great season in real life for Aston Villa, so going to check him out, uh, Holwood Bellis here, I would go ahead and get him normally, but I just don't like the fact he doesn't have an in-game face, same with Colwell here, brilliant player again, no uh, game face, so might not go for that. And obviously, Chalaba not really going to be looking at him. But there is a few players on there. Want to get a few um, sort of looking at the players a bit, so see what their value is and what what they're going to do. So going to go ahead and um, yeah, scout them a bit and see how they look and what their values are. Also, guys, let's go and check out. The stats so far so we are so far in Ketia 14 goals three assists silver doing great for us absolutely amazing player nine goals O'Reilly doing well Jared Bowen doing a decent job and going down we have decent players assist wise Jared Bowen coming in and getting assists for us which is great O'Reilly doing it and Enketia Kuto doing a great job just need to get him back from injury and they should obviously continue on but with that guys let's go ahead get into this episode got a few games here um Sunderland in the cup brighton man united later on and we'll try and get a bit through february as well ac milan in the champions league um knockout stage so we'll go ahead and do that at the end of this episode but if you guys are enjoying this series and are going to like the episode please smash that like button subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell all those lovely things also, if you guys um, could comment down, um, I've left um, in the community tab, I've left a choice for the next series you'd like to see. And so far, it looks like Man United. There's a few other teams, so please go ahead, um, get uh, get involved and let me know who you'd like to see me do next. Also, if you guys could please check out another YouTuber that's supporting the channel, uh, Betty Boy Football. I'll leave a link up to his channel at the top. Please go check him out um very much appreciate that but with all that guys let's get into this episode let's get into some games let's do it okay guys so we start off this episode with a 2-2 draw against brighton very interesting to see though in the, the ratings here you'll see um van der Heck doesn't actually start for bournemouth uh for brighton so it could be a player we go in and get eagle and um all that lot are starting for him so that wouldn't be out of the question to go in get him and actually play him but we got a 2-2 draw here Lockyer and Sambi Lakonga with the goals decent enough um, result against a very tough team let's keep going and next game up here guys we get a 2-1 win against Wolves they are bottom of the table so a very good win we've actually got Fabio Silva from them so um, a goal from him and Bowen very good to see also rating wise we have Kosunu in here so again this is a team that's struggling we could steal him from Wolves because he'd probably want to leave for a team that's doing so much better so that also is a possibility there so great win though so let's keep moving 
And also, guys, after that, we just want to show you this. Jared Bowen did get a player of the month for December. So he is having a very good season for us. Coming back into, uh, yeah, starting this beginning of the season. Been a great signing for us. Didn't pay a lot of money for him. And he's doing a great job, really. So uh, pleased to see. So I'm going to go ahead and probably go over to reserve side against this Sunderland side. See how we get on. But let's keep moving okay guys so we have gone ahead and made this pre-contract signing for next year it is jacob modder decent player obviously on a free for next year he uh will just be a good rotation player for us 76 rated at the moment 25 years old on a four-year contract 40k so not a lot of money spent on him and yeah i think he will be great for us very solid player and yeah for no money Getting him from Brighton is an absolute steal. Happy with that business. Let's keep going. Okay, then, guys. We are here in this... Uh, basically, we're in the uh, game... Uh, in the FA Cup against Sunderland here. Jacob Brown up against us. Obviously, we did sell them to Sunderland. But want to go here. Try and get through to the next round. Let's do it. Okay, Sunderland here. Needs Roberts passes us. Need to try. Oh, that's lovely skill by him. And Kaminsky. Oh, it's a goal. They just scored that. That is so poor by us. That is absolutely awful defending. We're well, 1 0 down here. Need to get back into this. Oh, a long ball in now. And it's 2 0. What are we doing? Brown scores against us. How are we 2 0 down in this game against Sunderland? So poor. Need to come back into this. What a horrible start. Okay, now we got a penalty here with Fabio Silva. Can he smash this one in? And he does. Great finish. And we are back in this game now. Silva picks the ball up. Let's go. Sees the ball through to Fabio Silva. And that's a great save by Patterson. Plays the ball through to Adebayo. Adebayo's through on goal. Can he score? Oh, and he's missed it. Oh, and we got another chance here. Fabio Silva has got to score this one, and he does. He's made it 2-2, and we are back in this game. We've missed a load of chances, and we have leveled this again. Very poor start, but we are flying now. Let's go. Let's keep going. And that, guys, is the end of this game. It's a 2-2 draw. We have to go back to home and try and finish this game off very poor from us get another game not great but let's keep going okay then guys we have made that center back signing and it is timber coming in not getting game time at arsenal so brought him in here and this is going to be a massive upgrade for us 81 rated him and bramthwaite are going to be amazing at that center back position um but yeah, toward bringing a player that is not getting game in this career mode, and he is one of them. Obviously, Arsenal, brilliant team, but this is, you know, a step for him. We're, you know, we're well up there, and we got him for 34 million. Pretty much all our budget's gone now. Spent on this guy. We got an A for that because it's a brilliant, brilliant price for this guy. Um, worth 30 million, I believe. Like 80, he's, I think he's 81 rated, not 82, but. He is going to slot in perfectly for Lockyer. Yeah, worth 30 million. Bought him for uh, 34, and I think that is a brilliant one. We don't have any money left. Need to sell some players, really, to bring um, money back in. We've got Kasanu there, was an option, but this instantly strengthens the squad very much so. Um, sorry, Dai, you're going to be coming off the bench. Timber, got to leave Lockyer on. Might. Got to come up with a new captain now. And to be honest, I might end up making somebody... Who do I make captain? There's none of these players have really been here a long time. I might go ahead and make Sambi Lakonga maybe. Or Dewsbury Hall. Dewsbury Hall would be the one. Yeah, I'm going to leave it with him because he is a brilliant player. And yeah, he's been here since basically the beginning. He's one of the first players I did bring in. But I think that strengthens us up so much in the back here. These two are going to be brilliant together. So very happy with that business. But let's go ahead. Look at the finances. We are 2 million. We have no more money left now. So without outgoings, there's going to be no incomings. But position-wise, we're looking great. So this would be something that maybe he would look at Timber because realistically, Arsenal are in fifth. He's not getting game time. So great signing. Let's keep going. 
Okay then guys, we are in this game against Manchester United in third position and we obviously in second, Timber making his debut here at centre-back. Uh, Dewsbury Hall being given the captaincy here and this could be a huge game in our season here. We get a win here, keeps us at the t uh, towards the top of the table. Definitely feeling very confident with Timber at the back. Timber and Brathwaite, very, very solid players. And I feel like this could be a big, big one. Obviously, a lot of uh, hype on him making his debut here today. So, let's go out, try and get a big win here at Old Trafford. Let's do it. If I get it, though, I'm well. I'm really well there. O'Reilly to Smith Rowe. Smith Rowe. Sees that ball out over the top there. Does well down to Giles. Back in. Again, playing this ball around really nicely. Into Enketia. Enketia. What a finish. What a move. And what a strike. We are 1 0 up here at Old Trafford. And the crowd is going mad. And this has been a great start from the team. Playing the ball around absolutely superbly. And we very, very much deserve that goal. Not missing Lockyer. Jer uh, Timber doing great at the back and there we go lovely ball through that is a great turn and finish by Nketiah top quality 25th minute 1-0 up let's keep going here on the wings Anthony now Mason Mount misses the tackle and it's through to Bruno oh what a save for Bazunu that is absolutely world class what a save here. still one Misses the tackle, and again, oh, Anthony's done well. Got to block it, Pazunu again. Massive save. This goalkeeper is well class here, really is. Now United coming at us quite a bit here. That's a great tackle by Dewsbury Hall. Doesn't keep it in, though. Another corner. Back at us again, Bruno. Oh, he's done really well there. Oh, Dewsbury Hall just couldn't keep it out. Now wan -Bissaka. Oh, he done well there. We got to... Oh, he's played it through absolutely amazingly there. And that is a great tackle. Giles does well. Plays it back again. Now we do have the opportunity. Brathwaite just switches the ball. Giving us a bit of breathing space here. Again with Luke Shaw. Got to watch this here. United coming at us. Oh, Bazunu does superbly again. Three huge saves from him, and that is half time. What a game. United have come back at us in the second part of that um, first half, but what a game this guy's having. Bazunu, what an absolute superstar. Let's keep really well to get it back in there. Bowen now. Dewsbury Hall. Now we've got the ball moving forward. Sees Enketia here. Enketia turns really well. Enketia for all goal. Great save by Onana. Should have went across. Went for near post and it didn't quite work. I'm just going to whip this one in this time, guys. See if I can get any head onto it. I do. And it's just over the bar from Enketia. Great chance. Yeah, by Giles. Giles now. Plays it back in. Dewsbury Hall. Oh, he's played it through to Nketia. Oh, what a finish by Eden Nketia. And that is a great goal on the counter. Great interception by Giles. And he has just flown through. And Nketia has smashed that top of the net. What a finish. 2 0 up here at Old Trafford. And that is a oh, superb move by Nketia. Absolutely did Maguire. And that is an unbelievable finish. 2-0 up now. Let's go. Now, a load of substitutes coming on here. Van der Beek up against his former club. Can he get anything done against them here? Juan Bissaka now. Oh, it's a great tackle by Kuto. Kuto been an absolute great player for us since signing. Fabio Silva also on the pitch. Going to chase back here. Now, going to be chasing. Oh, Van der Beek does so well. Oh, he skipped past a couple of players. Now, playing it forward. Enketia here. Enketia sees the ball through to Silva. Silva's just going by himself. Fabio Silva, what a finish. And Onana should be doing better. But this lad, Fabio Silva, what a sign-in we have made in him. He has played absolutely superbly for us. 
What a guy off the bench. What a reserve player. He scored so many goals. Might have to try and get him on the pitch somehow. But this tremendous finish from him. And Onana. I say he should do better, but that's a good finish. You know what? That is a fairly good finish from him from that angle. 3 0 up now. We are flying Old Trafford. Let's go. Game out now. Had a very, very good game. And this is a team that obviously we are looking at doing next. Oh, it's a great tap block there by uh, the new signing Timber. Bazunu does well. Good save yet again by this young keeper who's done brilliantly for us here. Can he keep that clean sheet? He's been absolutely brilliant. Oh, can we block here? We do. And again, oh, come on. What defending. Timber's had a very good debut. Hoyland's coming on now. They didn't start with him. Probably should have. But there we go. Brathway now. Forward to Timber. Plays it forward. Oh, can Jared Bowen get that? Not quite. But we're coming into the end of this game. Should be... Seeing it out now to the end. Bruno not really doing much with it. Wambasaka, a bit of a poor touch. And there we are. 3-0 win at Old Trafford. And that is a huge, huge win. Brilliant finishes by Nketia. What a game. He's had a good game. Nketia, brilliant. Timber had a good debut. And Bazunu has been absolutely class for us in that goal. Big 3-0 win. Let's keep going. And in the FA Cup replay, we get a 2-0 win here against Sunderland. So very, very happy to get through that with the reserve side. Chung and Silver with the goals. Silver, what season he's having. Good win. Let's keep moving. Okay, the eyes. So we're into the transfer deadline day here. I want to show you what we have done so far. I have actually sold some players here. And let me go ahead and show you what I have gone and done. Um see no, i'm on the wrong one transfer history here we go let's have a look so my club i have loaned job bellingham out to ajax for two years ross barkley i have sold he wanted to leave 31 years old five million to bournemouth i think that's a good move for him price gone out on loan to fulham short term obviously we bought in timber modder on a free and uh yes i'm very happy with our business so far so we are going to be going ahead obviously with this squad so far and uh, this is a decent enough sort of you know reserve and bench for going forward we have got Ipswich in the next round of the FA Cup so we're going to go ahead do a quick sim of that one again we should be getting through it but some interesting uh, players going to and from teams here so we have John Stones going to Aston Villa Curtis Jones going to um, Real Sociedad uh, Dan Juma there but yeah, there's been some uh, very interesting signings, to be fair. Who has been the biggest one so far? It has been Pedri to PSG, Araujo to PSG, um, Marquina, uh, Marquinhos has gone to Arsenal, Saliba has gone to Dortmund, Botman to Barca. Wow, there's been some Slotterbeck going to Arsenal. There's been some massive transfers going on around here. Massive, massive signings for some people. Isaac to Leverkusen. Very good signing for them. Um, but yeah, Nunes to West Ham. Wow. Very, very interesting uh, goings on here. But um, obviously, we have gone ahead and made a big sign on our own of Timber from Arsenal. Uh, so yeah, I'm more than happy with the way the squad looks. I have got decent backup everywhere. Buz and as you see, Nketiah is knocking in goals. Bazunu is doing great in goal. And yeah, the midfielders are assisting perfectly fine. They're going to go ahead, basically advance. I will let you know if anything happens. Probably Eric Dyer is going to go because he has submitted a transfer request. Just been happy with the play times. So I will let him go. But going to go ahead and um, get to the end of transfer deadline day. Quick sim a few of these games and probably get towards this AC Milan game, guys, to be honest. And then um, that will be the end of the episode. But let's get into it. Let's keep going. Okay, guys, so we have made a sign in here. And I just wanted to do this because I wanted to get rid of Dyer because he's ha unhappy and he's got obviously costing us a lot of money. He's going to bring down the morale squad. So what I've done is done a straight swap with uh, Omar Blamadeli from uh, Nottingham Forest. Obviously, he's lower rated. But 
22 years old and worth around sort of the same money so i think we did all right with this one to be fair he will be a nice um sort of sporadic rotation player for the squad and uh yeah he'll get some game time in the reserves and in uh you know but straight swap you know it's just getting rid of a player that's really unhappy we get a b for that as well um yeah not bad like eric dyer was worth like six mil and this guy's worth like 5.5 so decent enough i'm happy with that let's keep moving and next game up in the fa cup we get a huge 3-0 win up against the ipswich adebayo with a brace and fabio silva with yet another goal great great start to this fa cup run let's see how far we can go let's keep moving okay guys and next game up we get a 1-1 draw against manchester city timber in 83rd minute grealish in the 84th uh and Ketty has picked up a slight knock but he hasn't come off so i think he might be okay but yeah this but to be fair this isn't a great result because manchester city are in down in 11th at the moment really needed to keep up this pressure but obviously they're still a great great side i mean look at the team they have it's not bad at all they've got frankie de jong they signed and bakioko so it is a good side um, decent result though so let's keep moving and next game up with the reserves so we get a 3 to win against preston adams chong and van der beek with the goals very very good win need to keep up the pressure on the liverpool at the top of the table let's keep moving and next game up we get a 1-1 draw here against leicester not the best result um we are looking to try and do ourselves a leicester here and trying to win a premier league out of nowhere Van der Beek though keeping us in this game and, and keeping us going had a lot of draws lately need to start stepping up and getting some wins so let's keep going and next game up here we get back into winning ways with a 3-1 win against West Ham Bowen with a brace against his former club and O'Reilly with a goal Darwin Nunes for them good win for us big big win let's see where we are in the lead now let's keep going okay guys so we are here in this game against AC Milan, first leg in the Champions League. Obviously, Jared Bowen in very, very good form. A lot of players in good form. Let's see if we can go out, get a big win in the first leg here at home. Let's do it. He gets it up with O'Reilly. Back to Bowen. Again, got the ball forward. Inketia, Inketia. And that is a good block by the defender. Can we get our head onto that? We can't. Now Rafa Leal, oh, he missed the tackle. That was a chance. Oh, that's a good tackle in the end. But they do go back for the original free kick, which is not what we wanted, really. Needs to get the ball away. And that's just wide by Schick. Oh, that's dangerous. Near him. Now we have to watch it players coming forward with the ball really nicely now and that's a great save for Bazunu. oh we are not playing well in this game need to really step up now because we are in a lot of trouble need to get to half time regroup here can we get the ball away and it's our oh, Bazunu again there is half time oh very difficult first half here and we are definitely under it here need to have a better second half let's it's just been like that the whole game now, oh, great tackle. Timber done well there. Now, can we get out with Sambi Lakonga? Need the run going forward. Plays it forward to Jared Bowen. Ah. Oh, he's still going. Done well there, Jared Bowen. Really, really well. Now, playing it out. That is a poor ball. But Giles does well. Now, played it in. Oh, to O'Reilly. Oh, to Inketia. That is a great save by Manuel. That was a good chance. That was the chance. Just on his wrong foot there. On some fresh legs. Freshing the team up a bit. But they are playing this ball around really nicely. Players stepped up there. And he's just giving him so much space. Oh, that is a great chance for them. And he's missed it. Oh, that was so close. Now the substitute's on. What can we get done here? Oh, he's done well, Kuto. Plays it forward to Enketia there. Enketia back to Silva. Again, out to Sambi Lagonga. And that has just been parried away. Can we get this ball back again? We do. Silva plays it back. 
sees that ball out of there. It's a lovely ball. Jakuto plays it through the Dewsbury all. Enketia now. Enketia. Oh, what a strike. Eden Enketia. 80th minute. What a turn and what a finish. This is what this guy does. That is amazing finish. We have really struggled this game and that is a huge, huge goal getting towards the end of this game. What a finish by Enketia. Eden Enketia smashes it past Manuel. And that is a big, big goal for us here. Gives us a 1-0 lead. Let's see if we can keep going now. Through. Oh, we've done really well. Just whipping the ball out now. Can we get it out? We do. Oh, Kirkes. Oh, he's done so well. Now, Kirkes just coming forward. Still going. Oh, he is rapid. Kirkes now. He's going to shoot it himself. Oh, what a chance. Can we get our head onto it? We can't. We've got to get our heads. We do. Just need to hold it here. Not do anything crazy going. Oh, Dewsbury Hall. That's it back to Eden and Ketia. Oh, that could have been two. That could have been a huge, huge goal there. We are coming down to the end of this game. And we are just about holding this lead here. And we are here now. Oh, it's Kuto. Kuto's going to hit it. What a pile driver. That is the end of this game. And we have just about nicked the win here. That was such a hard game, guys. But what a victory. Edin Nketiah with that great goal. What a great defensive performance. And Bazunu doing great again. Big, big first leg. Let's keep going. Okay then guys, that is the end of this episode and what an episode it's been. We are top of the table, level on points here with Liverpool as we end it. Obviously that massive win against AC Milan in the first leg. And let me go ahead and show you how the team is performing. We have the likes of Eden and Ketia, 17 goals, 4 assists, up to 84 now, brilliant player. Fabio Silva, 15 and 0, what a player. He's become for us off the bench. Jared Bowen, 8 and 6. O'Reilly, 6 and 4. 5 and 2. Yeah, great performances from this team. Assist wise, we do have Jared Bowen top, Dewsbury Hall, O'Reilly, and uh, Kuto coming in doing very well. So this team is performing like absolute crazy. Obviously, the uh, ratings are going up nicely. We have um, Timber going up to an 82. Um, we have the likes of O'Reilly up to an 82 and Ketter up to an 84. And this team is just going to keep getting better and better as time goes on. But as we stand, this team is overperforming. We could go ahead and do a Leicester type finish here if we keep going. Like we could win the Premier League with the way we are performing and the way we're just keeping up the pressure, which is helped by. Let me go ahead and show you player stats here. We have the likes of. Enketi with 16 goals, um, which is amazing. He's obviously just behind Martin in Some of them played an extra game. But as you can see, we are well in that one. Oh, uh, top assister as well. Let's go back to the Premier League top assists. We do have Jared Bowen up there. So that is great. Clean sheets we have. Do we have Bazuni? Yeah, five clean sheets. So you see we have players there that are performing decent enough. And that is why... We are in this position but if you guys did enjoy this episode just as i said please smash that like button subscribe comment down below that'd be very much appreciated but for me that for now that is me i'm gamer dad out cheers peace bye